Hello everyone! In this episode, I'm going to be doing a video request by Rich Cat Ranch. I was in a video chat and the question came up about my favorite dessert. And Kathy from Rich Cat Ranch suggested I do a video, so here we are. So, the first thing you're need, gonna need to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. That is like 180 degrees Celsius. Then, you need a 9 by 13 pan. I'm using a glass one, but it can be anything oven safe. Then, you need your seven layers, which are butter, graham crackers, walnuts, sweetened condensed milk, coconut flakes, butterscotch chips, and finally, chocolate chips. Before you start mixing things, you will want to line the bottom of your pan. I'm using parchment paper, but you can use aluminum foil or spray the bottom with cooking oil and put a thin layer of flour. This will help you out later when you get the cookies out. Next, take the graham crackers and start grinding them up. This is great anger management time. If you don't have graham crackers, you can use vanilla wafers, like Nilla. You want them as crumbly as possible. Then, turn on your stove and get a saucepan and melt your butter. Be careful you don't burn the butter. Once the butter is melted, mix in those cookie crumbs. The goal is to get the crumbs coated with the butter. It isn't exact, but I usually use 4 ounces of butter to 10 graham crackers. It usually takes about 20 graham crackers and 8 ounces of butter to fill my pan. Once the graham crackers are ready, I take a spoon and I push them in tight and cover the entire bottom of the pan. I then start to layer the rest of the ingredients. It doesn't matter which order you do it in, but the sweetened condensed milk has to be last. I usually do butterscotch first, then chocolate, then coconut, and last walnuts. The last layer is always the sweetened condensed milk, which needs to be white or cream colored. If your sweetened condensed milk is tan or brown, that means it turned into something else called dulce de leche, which goes great on toast. Anyhow, cover the entire pan with sweetened condensed milk. I usually use two small cans. After that, put the mixture in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. I like to set my timer for 18 minutes and then check it. You will know it's done when the edges are slightly browned. When it is done, let it sit for at least three hours. When it has set up, cut the little pieces and enjoy. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have a video request, please let me know in the comments. You never know, I might just take you up on the challenge. And remember, travel adventure is always out there.